Hey, folks, I got, we have Tim Ross once again. And you know, there's something that I want Tim to address and talk about today. And it's really about Mudlick Mail. I know you probably heard of Mudlick Mail. What a crazy name for a company. What a, what a, what, 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 what's this have to do with Mudlick? What, what's it have to do with anything? But really, they were, and Tim, and his partners, uh, Greg, and all the people that worked there were pioneers in taking direct mail to these automotive shop repair owners, if you think about it. And we saw, Tim, we saw a massive improvement in numbers. I mean, people would do 80000 a month. Now they're doing 150, 160. We've had people go from a million dollars, you know, a year to two and three million by applying this tactic from this crazy company called Mudlick, right? And so kind of walk us through how you seeded that, how it became what it is and and where you got to upswell today. And just give us a brief historical view of this, because I say you guys are pioneers and the, the pioneer always has a story. So tell us the story. No, great question. And I appreciate it, Gary. You know, I started this with my partner, Greg Sands, 16 years ago, you know, what we saw was a need in the automotive repair industry to not only bring in better quality customers, but do it in a consistent manner. But we had to, we had to address some of the operational efficiencies that this type of marketing was going to cause because Mm -hmm. the direct mail we knew would would target more higher middle income customers. We knew that 85% of the customers that come are from a three mile radius, right? Because convenience is a big part of a customer's decision, right? And and so, you know, for us, we cre- we wanted to create a company that not only could help drive in those top customers, but then we had to build in some consulting kind of with it, right? Like we talked, it's like, when's a postcard company talking about not just targeting, but they're talking about why they have oil change offers on their ad and how that impacts customers yeah. coming in. And then how do you have to handle these guys on the phone? Otherwise they're just going to not show back, you know, they're not going to buy anything. And, and so all of a sudden it was more complicated than just postcards. It was like, well, for self-preservation purposes, we had to create this back end of how do you handle calls? And, you know, we did call tracking numbers so people could hear they, they were shocked at how they, them or their team were handling customers. Right. And, and so mm-hmm. it came about by, you know, just that need to generate quality customers and then help our clients convert those customers, right? And so yeah. that was the area that we saw a need for it. And, you know, we we built it up over the years and, and got more and more um, engaged in the auto repair industry with, I mean, we would do seminars and conventions and training and, you know, yeah. we were doing all this non-postcard stuff uh, to build up our postcard business uh, and, but, you know, it stemmed from a guy, Greg Sands, who owned and operated some of the most successful auto repair shops in the country. Right. So we kind of took right. his model and and said, let's share this with the world. Right. And we shared this mm-hmm. concept of, of, not, of not only how does how do we bring in people and customers, but then how do they interact with those customers so that that they can get the biggest bang for their buck on this direct mail, improve response rates, improve. So a lot of it was an education of why we use certain offers? Why do we target people? You know, I want to hit that rich neighborhood 17 miles away versus yeah. a lower income that's like around the corner. It, it was an education process on why do we target? What do we say? What offers we use? And that was kind of the jo- the gist of it, right? We put this together and then it kind of caught fire. And it went from, you know, got, Gary, you and I kind of bumped into each other at a convention in 2008 and we're like wow. how do we help spread the word because you know with greg and i the passion we had no intention of growing this business to what it is today uh and for those who aren't really aware you know mudlick um mudlick was created in 2008 uh we greg and i grew it to about 46 uh, million in sales in 2018 uh, and then we sold it to a private equity company who had a very big interest in growing the business and, and getting interested in, in the postcard business. And Greg retired and I stayed on. And this year we'll probably do close to $80 million. Right. And so the, the, the point of that is, you know, we, 
we just saw it was never meant to get that big. The passion was helping the small business owner, right? Helping them mm-hmm. as you and I had bumped into each other numerous times, seeing shop owners struggling to pay their bills or grow their business, or they wanted a second shop and they just didn't feel like they could get there. Being a part of that process and that a tool for them to help them be successful, that's what really drove Mudlick Mail, right? You know, and, and the Mudlick name, that's a whole nother funny concept and maybe we'll, we'll talk over it later day, but yeah. I get that question all the time, <clears throat> but mail is obvious, but Mudlick is a, is an old, you know, Greg was big into wrestling back in the day and there's a guy from Mudlick, Kentucky. I know you're from Bowling Green, Kentucky, and it just stuck, you know, and I think people don't realize Greg also had a ranch called the Mudlick uh, ranch helping special needs kids uh, with his forces. And so again, the idea was, Let's create a special company that helps small businesses. And that's kind of how the whole name came together. And, you know, we were very blessed for 10 years, but for us to take it to the next level, to evolve, to add more people, to, to spread the word out, to, you know, I- improve our technologies, we had to grow. And that's where Greg and I got to the point where, hey, we had to make it a decision. Do we just keep bootstrapping this ourselves? or do we bring on a company that we can partner with? And that's where we brought okay. on a private equity company that that partnered with us to help us grow. And as we grow, you know, we wanted to diversify some of the things that we offer because we've really expanded. And that's where the name Upswell came in. It's 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 just a, a, a umbrella company name that allows us to bring in other companies, and other, um, other services we offer, but the same meat and potatoes of Mudlick most of the same staff are still here at Upswell. I've got uh, uh, I've got half the team here uh, as Mudlick team from back in the day. I've got people that have been here with me for 10, 15 years. So it's been wow. a very big blessing for us, uh, yeah. not only to stay together as a group, but to help so many different um, great shop owners out there. And a lot of them have become some of my best friends outside of business. Okay. Well, there's always that question, you know, hey, where did Mudlick go? Well, Mudlick really didn't go anywhere. They just uh, changed names and they offer a bigger uh, cafeteria of products Mm -hmm. to better serve the marketplace. And so uh, there's one guy that's on your staff, has been there forever, and that's Jeff. You know, uh, he and I talk some and and, – He's, he's been there forever. I mean, they, they all say, well, have Jeff call me. Well, they, they remember Jeff. Okay. Remember him. So thank you, Tim, for sharing your wisdom about all these various things that are in the upswell product catalog, the things that you folks can do. And, and guys, if you want to talk about and ladies out there in automotive shops, if you want to talk about direct mail, just call me. I'll talk to you about it. We'll see if it's a fit for you. And then we'll pass it on to somebody at Upswell that can now do more of the details of what's what's where where's the best place to deploy your your advertising money. Maybe it's not acquisition. Maybe it's you've got massive database that they can tap into and do these different things. So don't hesitate to give us a call. And my phone number is direct anytime, 270-282-1262. Gary Gunn and Tim Ross, thank you for pioneering, and you and Greg pioneering this uh, direct mail that has evolved into Upswell, right? Yes, sir. So, folks, have a great day, and thanks for watching these segments.